Cheeky monkey. Uh, what a season Burnley had last season. But can they do it all in the Premier League? Ah. Do you know what? Uh, Burnley have got Harry Potter in charge. Uh, it looks like a fellow from Manchester City uh, called Vincent Company, but it's it's not, is it, Cheeky Monkey? No. Um, it's a fellow called Harry Potter because what he does is he brings in stuff that you've never seen before and you don't even know where it's come from. Uh, I'm talking about players. Players that you go, ooh, second division of the Who League, the where? And he did that last season. So the reason Burnley had a phenomenal season, in fact, I'll say this, we had the best season last year, the dream season that every football club wants to have. If you said now, uh, I for my club this season, I want to sign a load of new players, tick, done it, and Burnley never do that. And I want them all to gel instantly. Tick. That never happens. And I want us to be pretty much at the top of the league for at least two thirds of the season and win it with weeks to go. Tick. Every football fan wants it. And that's exactly what we had as Burnley fans last year. It was very exciting. And every game was sublime. And every time I watched Burnley play, I'd sit there and think, geez, is this actual Burnley? Because I've never seen it before. I'm used to just taking the taking the mick out of... Easy, cheeky monkey. He swears like a trooper, he does. Uh, I'm used to just being, like, uh, bouncing up and down, having people take the mick out of us. We go down, we go to a bit, bit, bit further down, then we go down, and then we come back up a bit, and it's a surprise, and it's a joy, and then we win something, and it's like winning the FA Cup. I'm talking about a single solitary game. Uh, so last season was a, revel a revelation... Uh, a revolution in terms of the club itself. And uh, still, I think people are looking back going, how did that happen? Uh, so massive change at the club under Vincent Company and Craig Bellamy. Amazing work ethic. They've signed players that everyone else has never even thought about signing by the look of it. And the highlights of the season, every single game, we got found out only when we went to places like Manchester City and got battered like everyone does. Uh, Man United looked better than us. But other than that, other teams that we played, Bournemouth included, I have to say, it looked like we were well superior. And you kind of go, let's go 1-0 down, see what happens. Sometimes we did. And what happened was, we just scored a load more goals. And the goals come from all over the team as well. So, exciting times as a Burnley fan. What's going to happen this season? Uh, Veghorst is back having been playing on loan for Manchester United. Will he make a difference when he first came to the club? He was immensely passionate. I mean, literally dragging people up and down the pitch, but then it didn't really work out for him. So will it this season? Uh, we've got some great forwards uh, that could make a difference. Jay Rodriguez back. Uh, Anas Zanori, if he's, if he's Zanori's back on his, on his best, what a great forward. Manuel Be uh, Benson Manuel. Uh, I mean, you know, some of these guys are just phenomenal. But... Unknown quantities in the Premier League. They'll want to prove themselves without a shadow. Got a solid midfield still. So in you know in midfield players like Jack Cork and Goodmanson, Josh Brownhill, but Josh Cullen as well, hold together our midfield and make us incredibly solid. Uh, that should still be the case in the Premier League, I hope. And at the back, we've got players like Jordan Bayer. Uh, again, no one's ever heard of him in the Premier League, really. And uh, it'll be a surprise. Um, Ekdal, who's that? Do you know what I mean? Dark Hill, Al Dark Hill, who's that? Right, so there'll be a load of surprises in the Premier League, uh, as well as we've got some great keepers as well. So I'm hoping for a season that, that ends probably mid-table, I suspect. Don't have any worries about us going down. Vincent Company and Craig Bellamy and the lads are here to stay. I think we're going to have a great season. Up the Clarets. Burnley have come up along with Sheffield United and, of course, Luton. Um, which is a surprise name. Now, Burnley, um, of course, Sean, D Sean Dyche's former team had a certain style that they played, but Vincent Company seems to have changed that quite a bit. And how much have you seen of Burnley? Because, of course, we played them last season in the FA Cup. We was a bit disappointed that day, in all fairness, but um, they look like a completely different outfit. Well, they've probably got different players, that's why. You know, mm -hmm. Sean did Sean Dice did an amazing job at Burnley. Yeah. Keep them in the Premier League. And Vincent Company will do an amazing job if he keeps them in the Premier League. That's about where it's at. Um Sean Dice just did fantastic there. 
um, whatever style of football, you know, you can only you can only do what you got, what player with what you got. And um, if they want to play an open attacking game this year, you know, they had one taste of playing Premier League clubs last year when Man City went and beat them six. So it's a different league. Championship is nowhere near Premier League. So they, I love Vincent Company. I think he's a fantastic young manager. Um, but, you know, he was in a predicament. Does he go, having gotten promoted, or does he stick around? Because you know what this game's like. You go up, you lose a few games, and suddenly you're, one minute you're the greatest thing in the world. Next thing, you don't, you don't, you know, you lose a few, half a dozen games early in the season and people are calling for your head. It, it's so fickle. It's, it's crazy. You know, we've seen it. Scott Parker gets Bournemouth up within about seven games of the season. He's gone. It, it happens to so many people. Uh, and Vincent Company is no, you know, was it, a, should he have gone when he got him promoted? That, that would be the question. What can he achieve with Burnley? How far can he take him? If he, if he keeps him up, he's done a great job again. Because... Thank you.